Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So as you probably all know now, I do tutorials for all of the aircraft available in DCS World, including comprehensive videos in showing how I set my controls up on my HOTAS, which happens to be an X56 Logitech, because I know that setting the controls up for aeroplanes that you don't know is actually incredibly difficult. And so I'm trying to help you guys out. Now, as an unexpected consequence of that, lots of you, and I mean thousands of you, have gone out and bought X56s so that you can share the same setup as me, which makes sense. Now, that's not on purpose. I'm in no way affiliated with uh, SciTech or Logitech. I'm not sponsored or anything like that. This is just the stick I've always had. I don't even recommend it highly or badly against other sticks. It's just the one I've got. But if you guys want to copy me, that's absolutely fine. To be honest, it just makes it easier for everyone. And like I said, I've made videos for all of the aircraft showing which buttons on the joystick I assign to which controls on the aircraft. Now, the only problem with that is that I don't show an actual video of my physical hands pressing the buttons. So you guys aren't sure which actual buttons I'm pressing on my physical X56 when I'm binding the controls. And so that's what we're looking at today. So we can see our lovely X56 here from various angles showing all of the buttons controls, knobs, and whatnot. So if we were to just pick on one, we pick on this hat switch, this four-way hat switch here on the left HOTAS. This is the left HOTAS. This is the right HOTAS. You can see its official name is H4 hat. It has an up movement, a left movement, a right movement, and a down movement. Before I go any further, I should say thank you for the guy that I've pinched this off. I've just uh, pinched it off someone else and just added my bits. Thank you very much. And then for the movements that I use in DCS World, what I've written here is the name of that particular movement of that button as DCS World understands it. So if I were to press the up movement of this hat switch here, DCS understands it as joy underscore BTN24. And the down movement, joy underscore BTN26. So let's go into DCS World now. I'm going to set up our A10C and I'm going to push the down movement here of this switch here. Then you can see in the A10C reel with all selected, I get flaps down, system F, and I get on this side, the left side of the HOTAS, the joy button 26. And now to show the right HOTAS, why don't we pick on this uh, trigger here, which is that one down there, which is officially B6 pinky switch in DCS world, known as joy underscore BDN6. Press that, and we get wheel brake on, off toggle, and we've got it on the right side of the HOTAS here, joy button six. Okay, so you can see what I'm getting at now. I'm showing you what DCS World understands these various functions as. And what I've done is I've named only the buttons that I use and the functions that I use. The ones that I left blank are simply ones that I do not use. And so again, if you're emulating me, you won't use them either. Or you can use them as auxiliary or extra functions. So when you watch one of my videos and I'm saying I'm binding joystick button 26 on the left HOTAS 2 the flaps or something on an F5 or whatever, you know this is the movement that I'm using. So that's all I really need to say. If you want to freeze frame that, you can go and look at these on your own time, but I might as well go through it anyway because I do like talking, as you know. So we'll start here with a H4 hat switch. I just use it up and down, and all of the aircraft, I use that for flaps up and flaps down. This guy here, assuming that the aircraft has a speed brake, I always use that for speed brake up, speed brake down, or air brake up, air brake down. This one here, Rotary 2 under there is only used for the Harrier and I use it for the nozzle position. So this is an axis command. In this case, it's called the Joy underscore RZ. And I call it bracket axis because it's you have to find it in the axis group. You won't find it in the normal commands. So look under the axis. Subtitle. You can actually push that button in and that comes as Joy, Joy BTN3. I actually use that for SRS radio. So that's not actually in DCS. That's external to DCS. These two throttles here separate and you can push them forwards, backwards, forwards and backwards. This is joy underscore X, this is joy Y and they are again in axis category. Got another knob here, really important one for the X56. You can press it and get BTN2 which is my cage, uncaged for my various aircraft. Remember it's important to keep all your aircraft as similar as possible. So that's always cage, uncage. And turning it we get joy underscore Z and that is again in the axis area. That thumb switch I don't use. That button there is joy button one, and I always use that as my autopilot engage, disengage for all of my aircraft. This throttle stick down here is really cool. 
you can push it in and you can move it in any direction but I find it hard to work with my left thumb so I don't use it. This is what I call iron switch here, switch one and two there. You can push it forwards, you can push it backwards. I've got that as joy, BTN six, BTN seven for down or backwards. I usually use that for radar on or off or something similar if it doesn't have a radar. The rest of these iron switches I don't use at all. The next one I use is this top right one here known as toggle four. And in DTS it's joy, BTN 18 and 19. I use that for auto start and auto stop. And that's all I use. Oh no, sorry, behind. Behind this uh, throttle here is this. That one and that one, I can't remember the um, DCS designations, but I use them for SRS anyway, not DCS for talking. I, have, I talk on three different channels at once. That channel, that channel, and that channel in SRS radio. This here is a little two-way switch on the left side of the back of the throttle or the front, depending where you're looking from. Got Joy, BTN 28 and 29. Always use the countermeasures. Uh, usually flare up and chaff down or if not manual release up and program release down or as similar as we can get depending on the aircraft. That's the left HOTAS done. Now the right HOTAS, so we'll start with the triggers I guess. That is simply trigger one which I'm always going to use for guns or weapon release if we don't have guns. That one there I'll always use for nose wheel steering, engage, disengage, toggle, whatever it, the closest thing is in that aircraft. That often doubles up as a target undesignator or whatever it also means on the various aircraft. Pinky switch here, always use as, uh, that's Joy BTN 6 for DCS and always use that as wheel brake toggle. Uh, we've got another trigger up here, I call this trigger 2, it's actually known to DCS as Joy BTN 3. I'll use that as my, what I'll call my secondary trigger, so for instance in an F-15 I'll use that as guns and that as missiles, weapon release. Then we've got what I call the third trigger, this guy up here, um, it's Joy BTN 2, I'll always use that in my aircraft as TDC to press, so TDC to press that'll be in a Hornet, a, a, a typical one, or in a simpler aircraft like a Flaming Cliffs 3 aircraft, I'll use it as lock, radar lock, which just means uh, TDC to press, it's just really another way of saying it. In a Mirage it's lock as well, or something very similar. So that's what I'll be using that for. But then we've got the four, uh, sorry, the three four-way hat switches we've got there, there, and there. Officially known as the POV, the witch hat, and the witch hat. To DCS, they're known as that, 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 and that for the various movements. I won't list them all out. And we've got the eight movements there in DCS. This one is always going to be my sensor select switch. Left, right, up, and down. So sensor select switch in the Harrier, sensor select switch in the uh, Hornet, or if we, if the aircraft doesn't have an official sensor select switch, then it's the nearest thing it can get to it. So for instance, that would be special modes uh, up, forwards and aft in the Mirage, in an FC3 plane, that would be left BVR, up bore sight, ACM, right uh, vertical scan, ACM, and so on. What I call the top hat, what I call the top right hat switch. This I always use in all of my aircraft trim. Some aircraft only have trim uh, aileron left and right. In that case, I'll only bind the left and right uh, commands to it. And we have the bottom right hat, and that is going to be used usually for weapon selection. So Tomcat, F-18, Mirage, various other planes where you have to just select a certain weapon at a time. So for instance, on an F-18, that would be um, AMRAM select, that would be Fox 1 select, that would be Fox 2 select, that would be gun select. On a Tomcat, that would be what? Phoenix select, gun select, uh, Sidewinder select, and cancel weapon. So it depends exactly which aircraft we've got there. And then finally, we have the axis commands, obviously, of the stick. We've got joystick X for left and Y movement, Y forwards and back, and RZ for the twist, because this can have a rudder as well. You can twist this. That's what I use uh, if you have leg problems like me. And that's it. And that's obviously found under the axis command section as well. So that's all of the buttons that I can use. One thing that's pointed out to me is how I've got quite a few buttons left that I could use, but all the ones I haven't used are ones that I find difficult to get, uh, difficult to find uh, in a panic so you would notice these buttons here I haven't done the kind of uh, if you like forwards and backwards that's because I find it actually difficult to do with my thumb that one I find difficult to use these here you have to take your hand off the stick so you can't really use any of these as hotest commands they're just useful auxiliary commands and everything else I've pretty much used so I'm 
last thing to finish this video off, I'll quickly jump onto the internet just to show you two other things. Okay, internet on. Uh, let's go to you tub. And type in Grim Reapers. That's them there, look. So the first thing I want to show is that if we just choose an aircraft there, A10C, and what we should the see... The best part of the streaming is that I can interact with my viewers and with my community. Is it the I stream with two cameras. Shut up, woman. show to my community not... We can see that... Uh, welcome back to... Shut the up, man. Today. We can see that the first video we'll come up with is how to set the joystick commands up. Looking up. And you can see going Hotas. through. And I'm going to turn the knob on the stick now. And it's picked it up as Joy X. OK. And we can test it. And that was just showing you me actually binding the buttons to the various uh, actions here. So you can go and look at them in your own time. And the second thing I wanted to show was that if I just pick any modern uh, video, I'm just going to go to coffee here because I know it's modern. Just go to one down here. Hello and welcome back. Quite you. Um, and if we go open this area up here, the comments, you can see that I include, if I can find it, there, caps, X56 HOTAS maps. So you can actually go into that Google Drive, into my Google Drive here, and I've got all of the aircraft all mapped out for my X56. It is a little out of date at the moment, so I do need to update it. But this means you can literally copy these Lua files into your version of DCS, and you'll, you'll automatically get my commands all set up and ready to go then. You don't have to do anything. Uh, it's just something I offer if you've got an X56. Okay, I hope that was useful, and see you later.